Jack Dorsey thinks Web3 is a joke, and he's making Web5 a new web platform instead. Block Inc. One of the Bitcoin business units, formerly known as Square, is looking to bypass Web3 entirely and start a new project that represents the latest Bitcoin-centric endeavors. Therefore, Web5 is being envisioned as an identity-based system that only utilizes one blockchain. Block Auxiliary TBD has reported plans to construct a decentralized web revolving around Bitcoin, highlighting the conviction of Jack Dorsey that the biggest blockchain organization will assume a significant part in the web's development. But if Jack Dorsey already had a Web3 platform, what's the reason for developing Web5 based on the BTC chain? Stay with me till the end if you want to know why Jack Dorsey is so determined on creating Web5. Let's start from the beginning. Block Inc. is looking to bypass Web3 and focus on a new Bitcoin-centric model for identity management. Former Twitter CEO and current CEO of Block, Jack Dorsey, has announced at Consensus 2022 that a new platform on Twitter, a combination of Web3 and Web2.0, is being built recently. TBD, the Bitcoin arm of Block, is working on this new vision for the internet, something they are calling Web5. According to Jack Dorsey, this innovative, potentially revolutionary technology will be designed to allow users to take control of their data, rather than giving it away to third parties. Web5 project will provide a decentralized web platform that enables developers to leverage decentralized identifiers, verifiable credentials, and decentralized web nodes to write decentralized web apps, recurring ownership and control over distinctiveness and data to individuals. By the way, are you enjoying this video? Then give it a like and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me grow the channel and bring you the best content about investing. In essence, the project is based on the idea that Web3, which aims to create a decentralized web using blockchain, crypto, and similar tech, has the right intention, but the wrong execution. Web5 supposedly aims to tackle this problem by using different tools than Web3, which gives more power and control to the regular internet user. Web5 addresses the most recent Bitcoin-driven attempt to be sought after by Dorsey since venturing down as CEO of Twitter in November 2021. The platform promises to fix several issues regarding securing personal data. It aims to resolve data privacy issues by building an extra decentralized web and will try to give the users complete control of their data. TBD launched in July 2021 with the aim of creating an open developer platform concentrated on decentralized finance and Bitcoin. Therefore, TBD has its first offering, a platform that promises a new version of the internet in which users will have full control over their own data. This will likely be our most important contribution to the internet. Proud of the team, Dorsey tweeted Friday morning. Dorsey also took a not-so-subtle shot at Web3, which signifies that the next iteration of the internet, one that its supporters argue will return the ownership of data to users through decentralized technologies like blockchain networks. While Web3 includes storage and identity protocols, Web5 will only serve the users with less centralization and a better experience. From Web5's perspective, Web3 is working with the right intentions, but the inappropriate tools. That's why Dorsey put forward Web3 as the blueprint for the latest version of the internet, but it doesn't exist yet. We struggle to secure personal data even with hundreds of accounts and passwords we can't remember. On the web today, identity and personal data have become the property of third parties, the company said on its website. That hasn't stopped the former CEO of Twitter and current CEO of Block, Jack Dorsey, from skipping ahead and announcing plans to build a new decentralized internet platform, coining the term Web5 for the first time. The initiative will be based heavily on current blockchain technology, with Dorsey announcing plans to use the Bitcoin network to build the project. This new adventure represents a journey not only for the participants of the crypto ecosystem, but for the entire society that interacts with the internet. Jack Dorsey is completely over Web3, as he suggests that Web3 has died and is determined to see Web5 born. RIP Web3 VCs, Dorsey tweeted. Dorsey has in the past been critical of current Web3 models that rely on venture capital funding, singling out Andreessen Horowitz in particular. His use of Web5 appears to be another deliberate and bold way to publicly address those concerns. Dorsey's motivation for pursuing a new web development model might have stemmed from his belief that Web3 will never achieve true decentralization. The Block CEO didn't just publicly criticize Web3, but also the venture capital community that supports its development. In December 2021, Dorsey tweeted that individuals don't own Web3, VCs and their limited partners do. It will never escape their incentives, he said. It's ultimately a centralized entity with a different label. In terms of what Dorsey's Web5 will actually do, TBD's website state that the current iteration of the internet is still missing an identity layer. On the web today, individuality and personal data have become the possessions of third parties. 
Web5 brings decentralized identity and data storage to your applications. It's time to start focusing on producing delightful user experiences while returning ownership of data and identity to individuals. TBD's website reads, Web5 is being envisioned as an entirely Bitcoin-centric project solving identity-based issues, contrary to Web3, which used to combine blockchain technology and tokenization to decentralize the internet. As stated by Block, the Web5 platform allows developers to focus on creating delightful user experiences while returning ownership of data and identity to individuals. Web5 is developed by the Blockhead, TBH, one of Dorsey's Block business units. About the product lead at TBD, there are no tokens to invest in with Web5. In Web5, individuals will have ownership of their data and control over their digital identity, supported by decentralized web nodes, DWNS, decentralized web apps, DWAS, and wallets. Twitter user Namkios broke down the concept of Web5 in a series of tweets that portrayed a few programming parts and several software components working together to develop the user's experience and empower decentralized identity management. According to Namkios, Web5 utilizes ION as a layer 2 protocol built on top of the Bitcoin chain, which they describe as an open, public, and permissionless DID network that runs atop the Bitcoin blockchain. Meanwhile, Web3 Foundation portrays DIDs as decentralized identifiers that support unquestionable, decentralized, computerized personality. Someone asked Dorsey on Twitter, what makes Web3 from your perspective not decentralized enough that you believed there needed to be this next stage via what you're calling Web5? To which he responded, it's the basis of a single point of failure systems and lies being told to people about who owns and controls it. It implies that the Twitter co-founder Web3 isn't truly decentralized or owned by its users, but instead by various venture capitalists and limited partners. Therefore, he is eager to create a somewhat better platform for the cause. According to him, the Web5 is basically a decentralized web stage or DWP that permits engineers to make decentralized web applications through DIDs and decentralized hubs as per TBD's model reports. And the reason for Web5 utilizing the blockchain technology used for Bitcoin is most probably because of Dorsey's love of Bitcoin and disdain for all other cryptocurrencies. This is all to mitigate the issues of double spending to make peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin digital money a reality. TBD's Web5 will additionally consist of other essential technologies as well, including decentralized identifiers, decentralized web node, self-sovereign identity service, and self-sovereign identity software development kit. The technical objective of Web5 is that these composite components allow developers to focus purely on an optimal user experience because decentralized identity will already be an intrinsic part of Web5, helping the storage of data in applications. The ultimate purpose of Web5 is to return digital ownership and power over digital identity as the data related to it and the individual all through decentralized tools. Yet it remains to be seen whether the TBD team and Dorsey's values remain intact in what seems like a widespread pursuit of good for the internet user. Helping people own their own destiny in the digital age can only be a good thing, right? What do you think about Dorsey's true intentions behind creating an all new internet platform? Write Web5 is the future in the comments if you think that this innovation will make a lasting impact. If you learned something new from today's video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video. I make deep dives like this every week where I uncover the secrets of money and business. Stay tuned for the next upload.